everyone welcome to my channel my name is Lizzie I am still at my mom's babysitting but the baby is asleep so I'm gonna do a random reading this is not a departed loved one um, I'm gonna do that one when I get home and I'm a little cold so I keep putting my head up <laughs> anyway let's start with some astrology We have Aries and Scorpio. It is Aries season. Happy birthday to all the Aries out there, by the way. My dad is the Aries. This could be your sign, someone in your life sign that you're wondering about, or just your energy. Sun, Saturn, Pisces, and Earth. Earth signs are... Um, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Okay, so Aries energy. I just, when I touch this, I'm going to fight for it. So I don't know if you're going for a job, if you're going for a person, but this is not letting anyone else win um, or come out ahead of you. Scorpio, to me, is like you're hiding your game plan, hiding your feelings, hiding your motives. Um, this could be like a secret crush type of thing, but I'm not sold on that yet. Um, the sun card is happiness, uh, like a glow up over abundance of something here. But I just feel like with the Aries and the sun sign here, sun, um, technically the sun card is the Leo card, which is also a fire energy. But I just feel like, um, this might be wanting to come in and not just say something but demonstrate it but you're keeping um, what you're about to do very close to the chest you're playing it smart here you have to be strategic with the Saturn there's an, a need to be um, evasive and an, a need to be kind of a little bit scandalous to make sure that you come out ahead of doing whatever it is that you plan on doing Pisces is very spiritual, so this could be a spiritual connection or a spiritual calling of yours or something you feel spiritually pulled to do. And Earth is all about grounding and centering and balancing, so I feel like you're about to do something big in your life and you're just not telling anyone about it. So uh, let's get some more. sister called from New York City and my niece video chatted with her and I think that was what she needed to, to go night night. She was waiting to hear from mama. <laughs> She's only one so you can imagine. She's like where's my mom? <laughs> my sister doesn't get a break very often so. <laughs> Trust your angels. Let go of your expectations of how your dreams will come true. Trust that heaven has a perfect plan. So maybe you don't know exactly how you're about to pull this off. Maybe you're feeling like spirit's about to have something come in for you. Or maybe you're feeling that Scorpio energy. You could feel like spirit's keeping <laughs> answers from you or you just don't have all the information. But I do feel like you are leaning on your to on your divinity, praying for an outcome, trying to manifest here, talking um, to people in your life, perhaps asking for help. It's like you want something to go really well, so I'm not sure if this is like a proposal to somebody or like a proposal of something, like um, maybe you're trying to get an, uh, a loan for a business deal or you're trying to propose to someone. There's like a need, I'm just saying that because there's a need to like plan this for some reason we have five be honest with yourself all your feelings even the difficult ones have a message for you accept your truth then let source take it from here so I feel like there's a lot of shakeups in your life your feelings are changing about people you're seeing people on a different light and I think that you're no longer like making excuses you're no longer being like I have to stay in this because 
or I have to do this because you're coming out of that. Like, I don't really want to do this, so I'm not going to. Or this isn't really my thing. I feel like this is my thing, so I'm going to go do that. It's like, at least internally, you're, you're being honest with the fact that maybe you're not happy with something or someone. Um, we'll get more in the reading, but at least... In the inner dialogue, you want a lot of changes and a lot of emotional changes are going on. I'm not sure if physical things are going on just yet. No, it is not yet time. This is not the divine right time to take action. Please be patient. The opportune moment is approaching. So maybe you're waiting for a sign to take action from spirit and you just haven't given it. Spirit's like, I hear you. I'm not ignoring you. Um, we will give you a go ahead when it's time. But there's still something that you need to learn from the situation that you're not learning. Or something that you need to know or see that you haven't um, yet discovered. Embrace your life purpose. I am guiding you toward your divine life purpose. Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. So they're trying to show you um, what makes you feel happy, what makes you feel good. Um, they're not necessarily trying to show you like people that need to fall out of your life right now. They could be, um, especially if they hinder your, any kind of happiness. But I feel like you're looking for guidance about your life and your future. Trust the guidance you're receiving. Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance. So trust the, the guidance you're getting. Like, don't overthink it. Um, your your instincts are right and spot on. And don't. It's like when you get an idea or you get the notion to do something. Don't um, like be sitting around like, oh, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's all me. No, you're you're being spiritually pulled and pushed. They're confirming that for you. Move when you are compelled. What's going on in the viewer's life presently? What are we, what is this reading about? Lighten your load. You're overworked, you're overburdened, you're stressed, or you're just thinking something to death here. What do we need to lighten our load about? Trust. About giving up that um, need for control. This is about giving it to the divine. This is about not worrying about time, not worrying about what's going on in the 3D. This is trusting the 5D parts of things. If this is about a connection... Uh, and you feel like you're losing them. Nobody who's meant for you is ever really lost. It's about changing your mentality and trusting that spirit's going to get you exactly where you need to need to go. Or you, it's not going to be the perfect time. Like everyone's like, when they say describe, they're like, I'm waiting for the perfect moment. I'm waiting for the right time. And just sometimes that just doesn't exist. And you've got to just throw yourself in there. So throw yourself in there with spirit and, and trust that no matter what happens, they got your back. Like you, If you're going to give your burdens to someone, spirit is who you want to give it to. Because they're the ones that are going to do something about it, not just sit and listen to you and pat your hand and say, I'm sorry, you know. They're the, the movers and the shakers. Freedom. This is about... Um, Personal freedom to make your own choices about not being a people pleaser or not doing what you feel um, other people want you to do. You might be trying to free yourself from a toxic situation or get free to start something else here. Tell me more about um, this freedom. Manifestation. So you are manifesting your way through something or your way out. Um, you either need answers or you need money or you're, you're waiting for some reason for this to end. Whether it's you to actually make movement, maybe you're, you're manifesting the courage to get out of your situation or to speak. Peace. Yeah, you want you want peaceful resolution here. So if you're in like something toxic, you want to get out and just be single or just do things on your own because 
whoever you're doing it with or whatever you're doing is too turbulent and too toxic. This is about wanting to get out of toxic behaviors, patterns, and away from toxic people. What do we need to trust? Where is this trust here? Empowerment. Trust that you are power not powerful enough to stand on your own two feet. You are strong enough to get out of this. You are strong enough to speak your mind. You are strong enough to face what you need to face. What is this light in your load here? Yeah. This is about stepping away from all the things that make you feel heavy, burdened, sad, toxic. So it's like no more of that. It's time to step away. It's time to, to do do things differently so that they can help you manifest and bring in the life that you want. What do we need to know for the viewer right now? Healing, prosperity, willpower, freedom, and manifestation again. So I think you need... You could be taking a lot of uh, money loss, like alimony, or just be taking a hit in the money department, or this is about self-worth, somebody attacking your self-worth. You could have all the money in the wor world, but be with somebody who abuses you and just feel like shit. But whatever that is, this is what you need to heal from, and spirit's trying to protect you. Your family's protected, you're protected, to just focus on this right now, this healing, um, and make it a priority, or maybe you are making money off of something you use to heal like writing or an art project um, that's going to bring you some prosperity but to me this is just like the tough times are ending and success is coming in for you and it's all about healing from the tough times you just went through and you are going to have a surge in strength to get done what you need to do here to get yourself out of your situation um, so to me that's like you're, you're getting what you need or the answers you need to get out of a toxic situation or to rebuild your life the way you want it so recent past Recent past, what went on for the viewer? Ooh, desire. So you could have a crush on someone. Um, passions could have been uh, uh, could have been ignited, or this was like an argument, a fight, a passionate, heated um, affair, or this could be like hot, steamy sex. Tell me more. Tell me more about this desire. Mirror and meditate. Um, so whatever this is, um, whether this be a person or a thing, it shook you up and made you see um, that you have to work on yourself or made you see something that was missing in your life or not healthy. So if this is like a person that came in your life, maybe you never really knew what love was and you fell in love, like love at first sight, or you just had a lot of desire and it made you see that you aren't somebody who's about commitment. You are a little bit of a runner, so you are healing that. But um, I feel like whatever this is shakes you up, it scares you, and you've kind of been dealing with your own um, fear monster. I feel like you're very thankful for whatever this is, if it's a person or a thing that came in your life that that kind of poked you, whether it was a good or a bad poke, it woke you up, it made you realize that changes need to be made. Um, and I feel like it made you connect with what you really want, and that's what you're most thankful about. I'm going to see what my nephew is watching. He's making animal noises. It sounds like an animal dying in here. <laughs> um, this person could have rescued you or just um, been that the advice or helping hand you needed at the right time. Like this person could have came in at the right moment or was just like that kind, sweet friend. Like maybe people were just trying to tell you what you wanted to hear or... You're so used to people shitting on you that when someone was nice to you in that exact moment you needed them to be nice, it changed the game for you. Let's get some clarifiers. What's this desire about? Compassion. This person had... 
such a soft spot for you or they stuck up for you or they defended you or they made you see your life in a way that nobody ever has or saw your side of it took the time to even um I don't know uh contemplate how it would make you feel or what that would have been like for you it's like put the shoe on the other foot I feel like this person did and or they called you out in a way nobody else um, has so even if it was malicious and a bit mean it, I feel like it's exactly what you needed at the time and although you might have thought at the time it was done in a malicious way it could have been from because this person cared because they actually um, give a shit about you but I feel like majority of you this person showed you a kindness, showed you empathy, or reads you in a way nobody else can. What's this uh, mirror? Or this is just something you feel pulled to do. Like you, if this isn't like a lover, this could be like, oh my god, I'm suddenly feeling the need to save monkeys, and that's my life purpose. And you're all full of desire for that. And you're thankful that this came into your life because you didn't know what to do with your life. Now you do. What's this mirror energy? You okay out there, buddy? He's playing a video game and he's getting mad at himself. Um, pers perseverance with this mirror. So I, I feel like this person or this thing pushed you to better yourself and it you really put the work in and I feel like whatever this thing was was matching you so like you could be somebody like out there um, doing your own thing rebuilding your life you could be watching a youtuber and just like influenced by them but they're also changing their life I feel like you guys are going through massive changes um, at the same time or because this person went through something similar or they just went through great adversity and came out of it this person is like motivation for you like a cheerleader and motivation all in one what's this meditate about sovereignty I feel like you want to do what's right here like the, this person is very honorable to you um, you feel like you aren't really deserving of this person or worthy of having them as a friend like you just see them as this really sweet this really wholesome well balanced person who's just been through some shit and you're just thankful that they are in your life and I think they've taught you a lot clarify why this gratitude is here yeah you're thankful because this person changed your life whether it was just hearing their story and how they overcame it or just like watching their vlogs or their channels or advice taking their advice reading their books like this might even be like a mentor this might be a parent it doesn't have to be a love thing but this person changed you from the inside out you are a more light airy and better person because of all of this hey buddy what's good what are you doing Tired? It's 8.30, so in about a half hour, we're going to try to go night-night, okay? I'm going to go night-night later. Yeah, in a half hour. I'm letting you stay up a whole 30 minutes longer. Well, Mommy usually doesn't do that to me. With On time. Friday? Mm -hmm. Last time she did it when I came on right. You look pretty tired. Your healthy for your health. You gotta eat them every day to grow big. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> Grandma told you that, huh? can't eat too much candy. Yeah, that's right. That's how I got it sick and puked. You ate, you ate too much candy? I didn't. I was hungry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to my reading now, okay? <laughs> He just wants to hang out. Um, so like I said, I feel like this person saved you from something or just gave you inspiration and helped you. Ooh. Forgiveness. This person could have um, been somebody you wronged that you want to forgive or 
um, how to forgive one? yourself or Sleep others. Sleep day and you're young, you're sleepy. Get sleepy because you go to sleep. Yeah. That's, I got to wait. You need more sleep, Kaiman says. Yeah. <laughs> There's no wrong answer. <laughs> and I think that you want this person's forgiveness. You want to tell them the truth. I, I don't know if there was like a fight between you two or there's like miscommunication because she's holding her throat. Or there's some reason like you're choked up. Maybe you can't tell this person. But for some reason I feel like you want to tell this person how much you you've been helped by them or their work or um, this could be them wanting to tell you why is forgiveness here boundaries this person set a boundary with you um, I think they felt the need to I don't know if you stepped incorrectly or they just couldn't trust you or there was miscommunication or rumors or there was just some reason I don't feel like this person was hateful in their boundary um, but I think it might have been a little bit cold a little look matter of fact point blank period type of stuff but I don't feel like it was from a malicious place I feel like they were backed in a corner and I feel like this is something that you understand with forgiveness here What's this truth about? Connection. You want to tell them the truth about this connection, that um, maybe you feel more than um, you're letting on, or you, you feel like you haven't been doing your part. What, what about this connection? Labyrinth. They're trying to find their way back to you. Or you're trying to w find your way back to them. Why? This person is like not only somebody who raises, it's a high vibrational person, but raises everyone else's vibration. This person's healing. I feel like you, you want um, this person to help you through a difficult time in only a way they can by speaking their truth, by being fun. Um, by helping you connect to your mind, body, and soul. Like you just want to be in this person's essence. Alright, let's close out your reading with some tarot. And find out what else do we need to know right now for this viewer. So something about work, partnerships, collaborations coming in. Something about work broke your heart or a third party situation broke your heart. You could have put this person in a third party situation so they drew a boundary with you and said, I don't want to be a third party or um, they um, didn't want to work with you. They could have chosen not to collaborate with you on something or not to work with you and that could have hurt your feelings. Ooh, Ten of Cups. This person is your wish fulfillment or this thing is your wish fulfillment. It's like um, saving you, bringing you back to your happy place. You might, uh, you might feel this way about this person, but you could have actually hurt this person's heart. Tell me more. What's this Three of Pentacles? Something about work. Maybe work is the reason why um, somebody can't come in and speak their truth. Could have a lot of work obligations or like a busy schedule. Uh, the Tower, Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Hanged Man. So there is somebody here, either you want this person, um, feminine energy, Queen of Wands, someone fiery, passionate, um, very good at what they do, have that it spark, money maker, abundant. Um, this person came into your life in a very creative, very passionate way. They're unlike anybody else you could work with this person. This is kind of like secret crush energy. Apple. You want to offer, <laughs> you want to offer them your love, or they want to offer you their love. But for some reason, they're just kind of hanging out, either watching you, or hanging, or you're hanging out watching them because you can't make a move. Why is this pain here? What? Ooh, the sun popping. This person is your happiness. Why is this three of swords here? King of Pentacles. 
So masculine energy here doesn't have to be man, woman. It's just energy. This is practical. This is somebody solid. So it doesn't make sense. Um, I feel like this person to you is solid, is stable, is wise, is mature. And I feel like you feel like you you devalued them or you didn't see their worth or you just kind of tossed them away. You want to give them something practical, but you didn't. And this is what broke your own heart here. Tell me more about this. Ten of Pentacles. You could have chose a comfortable situation. You could have chose career over this person. You could have chose money or you just decided um, maybe you guys have a job or you can't be together. So you're like, well, you know, as much as I'm trying to be practical here, I'm trying to be um, focused. Maybe you have another family here or other obligations keeping you from the the one thing you actually want to be doing or the one person you want to be with. But to me, this is like wanting to be practical, like breaking my own heart here. Um, like I said, either you're in something and you, you're you wanting to honor that and continue to grow that. So it's like breaking your heart because this person is actually your wish fulfillment. They came into your life. They shook you up. Um, you could want to work with this person or you met through work. And if it's not about a love situation, this is definitely collab vibes. This is somebody you see as a very successful partnership. They could have rejected your partnership and then kind of put a rent wrench in it so now you're thinking of a practical plan to get them to come in and, and work with you or to get them back why is this ten of cups here the hierophant you this is somebody you want to marry or this is somebody you are married to you either want the marriage to go back to being happy and solid and, and practical and, and put the work in it and come out of a fighting we hurt each other phase or this is something long term that you want to invest in it doesn't have to be about love it like I said collab work investment or this is like a crush that you this is the this is your dream person and the person you want to marry so overall I'm feeling like what what is the advice for the love situation? I'll just break it up a little bit for you. Ten of Pentacles. Practical with your energy. Um, equal give and take here. Nothing can grow without water and energy. So if you if you want this love situation, be practical, be wise, and show what you mean. Don't just say it. And if this is about like a work collaboration or a work partnership what do they need to know about this connection the hangman yeah there's something you're waiting on like contracts or you're waiting on more information um there could be delegating going on but it's just like take a minute and pause and make sure you're really on the same page as everybody involved make sure you're not investing more than somebody else it's like be practical with your money and your time um, if it feels good and it's something that you like, I feel like justice will come out in your favor as long as you're doing your due diligence there. Everything will be good. But to me, this is like take your time, um, dot all your I's and cross all your T's, don't rush. And if this is like a marriage situation and you're kind of like in a, a sticky situation, like should you stay or go kind of thing. <laughs> We have a ten of wands. Move away from adversity. I do see you moving on from this. I'm not saying this is like moving on divorce, um, but there is a choice there. That is definitely the choice that is still very much um, needing to be made. Whether you're putting the work in and coming back together and coming out of separation or you're done putting the work in and you're moving on, but that's the decision that needs to be made and you need to stick with it. If you love this person, trust that in, in intuition. If you love that person, if despite everything that's happened, no matter how much the burden is, if you still love them and you're still willing to fight, there's something to build off there. Trust that instinct and put the work in. But trust that there are real devils out in that world that 
people just want to kind of keep you stuck and codependent and don't be falling for the same routines and the same traps. Make sure they're putting just as much work in as you are and make that decision for yourself. Don't drag it out. Uh, speak your truth and if you got to do it in kind of like a cutthroat way um, it's not like I don't see you being malicious I just you you kind of being like look we've, we've done this song and dance it's been nothing but a burden and I'm over it so I do feel like majority of you are gonna be um, parting ways there because I feel like a lot of this is very toxic and things are ending so that new things can begin. So I hope this reading was helpful for you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little spacey. Um, I'm not used to having little kids. That's a good training for if I ever do have any. <laughs> all right, I'll see you all again soon. I'm going to do the Sky Bar Confessions when I'm home in a more controlled space. Until you then, until you then, <laughs> until then, ta-ta. Uh, for now, toodle boo boo. Say bye, Kai. Huh? Say bye to my subscribers. Bye. <laughs> Bye, bye, bye. Hey, <laughs> <Play> apples, <D. laughs> eat half, eat apples and get lots of sleep <laughs> from Kai, right? <laughs> All right, love you guys. Bye.